What's up everyone, this is Benjamin and Brian Tercero. We are local brothers and licensed realtors here in the beautiful Santa Fe, New Mexico. If this is your first time on this channel, we're here to get you educated on what it's like to be a Santa Fe local, and more importantly, to help you become a local by serving you throughout your entire home buying experience. So make sure that you tap that subscribe button so that you're notified every time that we release a new video. So if you're planning on making a move to Santa Fe or anywhere in New Mexico for that matter, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text or an email, or just leave us a comment down below. So this is part two of where you should live in Santa Fe, New Mexico. In the first video, we covered areas one through 12. Today, we're gonna to hit the rest of them. Let's get started. Again, we're gonna be referencing our MLS area map that breaks down Santa Fe by number and geographic area. If you wanna follow along, we do have a link to the MLS map down below in the video description. All right, area 12, if you've been traveling along the Turquoise Trail and the Highway 14 corridor, you're gonna arrive in a town called Madrid. Formerly a bustling coal mining town turned ghost town, it's been revitalized and is now a creative enclave for artists and those wanting to experience life outside the city. Visiting Madrid, you're gonna enjoy local businesses like the Old Fashioned Soda Fountain Parlor, the Mineshaft Tavern, and many others. The Mineshaft Tavern in Madrid is like stepping back in time to the late 19th century, so make sure you have time, a sunny afternoon to spend there. Many of the homes here are early 20th century, wooden structures painted a variety of colors that give the town an eclectic feel. Los Sorios is a traditional New Mexico village with old adobes and charming shops and is just north of Madrid. This community is located 45 minutes northeast of Albuquerque and 25 minutes southwest of Santa Fe. While it was once seriously considered as the capital of New Mexico, today Sorios with its dirt streets is a picturesque reminder of the Old West. When Hollywood needs an Old West town to shoot a film in, their head is straight here. Some of the movies filmed in Cerrillos include Shootout, Young Guns, Outrageous Fortune, and The Nine Lives of El Felgo Baca. These two historic towns are at the heart of the Turquoise Trail. They offer a lifestyle, a community, and a history all of its own. If living in Santa Fe city limits just isn't your cup of tea, these outlying historic communities, they deserve a look. So what does the market look like out here? There were 23 sales. The median price of a home is about 333,000 or 294 square foot. But just like anywhere around Santa Fe, we have had record sales up here for a 1.8 million, all the way down to 140,000. Okay, on we go to area 13. The airport road area is actually one of the most affordable parts in Santa Fe. As real estate prices skyrocket in Santa Fe, local government officials worked together to create a plan for development that would be focused on affordable housing. In 1994, the city of Santa Fe approved a master plan for the development of the neighborhood of Tierra Contenta. Since then, more than 2,500 homes have been built in the southwest sector of Santa Fe. And in accordance with the original master plan, at least 40% of those dwelling units in Tierra Contenta have been required to be affordable to home buyers and renters with household incomes at or below 80% of the Santa Fe area median income. Now, these are very nice homes, Santa Fe style architecture, of course, and various finish levels throughout. Now, this is our most popular area for first time home buyers, young families getting started, some retirees that want to live in Santa Fe on a budget, and so many others. There are 211 sales in this area. The median sales price for a home is about 387,000 or 259 a square foot. The price range is between 900,000 and about 225,000. Also in the airport road area are more affordable homes in the historic village of Agua Fria, Las Ezequias, mobile home parks, and several other affordable housing options. All right, so here we are into area 14, El Dorado de Santa Fe. Located 20 minutes south of the plaza of Santa Fe's art, culture, and history all are just a short drive away. Pleasant year-round temperatures, stunning vistas, fresh air, and a wide range of recreational activities that all the city has to offer. This was first developed in the early 1970s as a satellite community to Santa Fe. El Dorado was primarily zoned as rural and single-family residential. There are approximately 2,600 homes spread over 8,000 acres with a population of about 6,000 people. Singles, families, artists, couples, everyone fits in out here. El Dorado has become a popular destination for people who want to live in a quiet town or just take in the stunning views of Santa Fe. It does have a bit of a suburb feel to it, but nearly every home is sitting on an acre lot with forever western views. If sunsets are your thing, El Dorado might have just what you're looking for. So the homes out here are primary Pueblo Revival style with a handful of Northern New Mexico style homes mixed in, which basically means it has a pitched metal roof. Mostly custom homes, the floor plans, fit and finish of the homes are very unique. 
Because El Dorado was planned to be a standalone community, it has developed a thriving commercial and shopping district with restaurants, breweries, professional business practices, and the Agora Shopping Center for groceries. Pretty much everything you need is just minutes away, saving you the hassle of driving 20 minutes into Santa Fe on I-25. There were 158 homes that sold in the last 12 months here. The medium home price in El Dorado is sitting around $575K, $318 a square foot with sales ranging from $1.15 million all the way down to $272,000. Now let's talk about the opposite side of town, Area 15, Tezuke. Located just 12 minutes north of the plaza in Santa Fe, the Tezuke Village is a highly sought after community with a rich cultural heritage. Tezuke's cultural beating heart is the Tezuke Pueblo, who are members of the eight northern pueblos. The Tezuke Pueblo people are from the Tewa Native American people who speak the Tewa language. It is home to hundreds of years old structures and history. There are times during the year when one can actually attend ceremonial dances considered as some of the most authentic and true to cultural rituals. Tezuke is also a haven for artists. When you're in Tezuke, make sure to stop by the Glen Green Galleries and the Shidoni Foundry, which are two of the area's most popular attractions. Plus, Tezuke is just a few minutes away from the famed Santa Fe Opera. A Tezuke's dramatic landscape offers residents a sense of seclusion and mountain mystique, making it the ideal place to find your northern New Mexican dream home. Experience the splendor of the Sangre de Cristo and Jemez Mountains from the comfort of your own home in the foothills, or choose to live in a charming historic adobe down by the creek, complete with an orchard and room for your horses. The Santa Fe Ski Basin and Santa Fe Baldy can be reached from Tezuke, which is an important starting point for hikers and mountain bikers. At the Tezuke Village Market, hikers, runners, horseback riders, and mountain bikers gather to tackle the rugged beauty of the Windsor Trail. Plus, Tezuke Market Village serves excellent food and some of the best drinks in town. 30 homes have sold in the past 12 months. The median sales price for the homes in Tezuke are $1.3 million, or $511 a square foot. Sales out here have closed between $3.9 million and $399,000. Alright, Area 16, the Powakee Valley. You're going to find homes with more acreage and privacy, primarily adobe style homes with lots of historic charm and character. These homes exude the spirit of New Mexico with their wooden ceilings, exposed beams, vigas, kiva fireplaces, nichos, and many other features that are undeniably authentic New Mexican. In Tewa, the name Powake means water gathering place or Posugawe, a winge. In 1680, the Pueblo Revolt led to the abandonment of Powake, a Spanish colonial mission that was rebuilt in 1706. The Powake area of New Mexico was first inhabited around 500 AD with its population peaking in the 15th and 16th centuries when Spanish colonization began. With feast days in December and January, it is one of the eight northern pueblos and Tewa speaking Rio Grande Pueblo. Also included in this area is the lush paradise of Nambe, lying at the foot of the rugged Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Just north of Santa Fe, this hidden gem is traversed by ancient acequias. You'll see why it's one of the area's best kept secrets as you wind your way up into the fields of the tall grass, majestic cottonwoods, and rustic homesteads. Pre-Spanish, Nambe Pueblo served as a cultural and religious hub for the northern Rio Grande Pueblos. It's only a short distance away from the Nambe Falls and the Nambe Lake Recreation Area, which is a great place to go hiking, fishing, and spending time with big groups of family and friends. It's only a short hike up the canyon side to get a bird's eye view of three of the southwest's most spectacular natural waterfalls. For fishing, Nambe Lake, a 56-acre lake located above the falls, is open to the public. The Nambe Rock Formations, a popular filming location, are also in the media area. This area is particularly popular for people seeking privacy, space, and easy commuting access to the towns of Española to the north or Los Alamos due west. There were a total of 26 sales over the past year here, with the median sales price at $463,000 or $240 a square foot. There's estates that sell here between $1.2 million all the way down to $150,000. Okay, Area 24, because the person who had an issue with the number 5 also hated numbers 17 through 23 apparently. So, 24 is Las Campanas, which is an amenity-rich neighborhood in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Luxurious amenities and breathtaking natural beauty come together in Las Campanas, a tranquil hideaway in the middle of the Rio Grande Valley and the Jemez Mountains in the northwest section of Santa Fe. It was established in 1992, and it offers the widest selection of custom and semi-custom luxury homes in the area. In the midst of 68,000 acres in a pristine New Mexican high desert, Las Campanas is Santa Fe's premier luxury plan community offering buyers private home sites that blend seamlessly with their surroundings while being only about 10 to 20 minutes away from exploring the historic plaza, depending on how far into the community the home is. 
The club at Las Campanas is where members can enjoy two award-winning Jack Nicklaus signature golf courses, a 46,000 square foot Hacienda clubhouse with member-only restaurant, a peerless equestrian center, and the fitness and tennis center, which includes a luxurious spa as well. Memberships are not inexpensive by any means, but the experience of being a member is second to none. Now, there are more than a dozen distinct neighborhoods ranging from lock and leave custom and semi-custom Pueblo style homes to handsomely crafted log cabin homes and ultra sleek modern contemporary style residents with some Santa Fe style flair, of course. Now, most homes will have warm, inviting gathering places for both indoor and outdoor living in order to take advantage of each of New Mexico's four seasons. There have been 88 sales this past year. The median home price in Las Campanas is $1.7 million, or about $511 a square foot, with prices ranging from $4.2 million to about $850,000. So just outside of Las Campanas is Area 25 North, and this is what we call the Northwest Quadrant. It's a great place to live in Santa Fe. It's one of my favorites. With a variety of new and established subdivisions surrounded by arguably the best views of the Sangre de Cristo and Hemis Mountains that can be had in the Santa Fe. The notable communities of La Tierra, Las Dos, and Aldea de Santa Fe have something to offer everyone. Your luxurious dream home in Monte Sereno or Casas de San Juan are only moments drive from the Santa Fe Opera House or downtown on the plaza. Homes here feel like they are in a world all of their own, but you can dine downtown on the plaza with just a 7 to 10 minute drive. Homes around the Opera and Monte Sereno are some of the most luxurious and expensive homes that Santa Fe has to offer. Northwest Santa Fe real estate consists of sprawling estates, equestrian properties and new developments nestled on the rolling hills dotted with pine and juniper trees. There were 72 sales here in this past year. The median price for a home is $1.3 million or $456 a square foot. Prices top just at about $4 million on the high side and down to about $750,000 on the low side. All right, hopping over to area 25 south, we're still in the northwest quadrant, just on the furthest southern portion. Pinon and juniper dotted rolling hills make up the majority of this rapidly expanding area, which has expansion plans that extend far into the future. Located south of Las Campanas, these home sites have the same breathtaking 360 degree views. They're not a part of Las Campanas and have much more reasonable monthly HOA fees because of that. The Jemez Mountains, the Sangre de Cristos, and the Sandia mountain ranges can all be seen from most of the neighborhoods out here. And of course, you will have phenomenal sunset views year round. Now with a mix of architectural styles, you'll find everything from Pueblo Revival to the most modern contemporary masterpieces. You can expect a 20 to 25 minute drive to get back to the plaza from out here, but it's easily accessible through the New Mexico 599 bypass, which takes you right into town while avoiding all the annoying city traffic, which there's very little of, by the way. Now, there have been 69 sales with a median sales price of 800,000 and an average price per square foot of about $381. Uh, we had a record-breaking sale of the Randy Travis Ranch at $8.5 million, and then there was a low sale of $380,000. All right, Area 26, southeast of City Limits. So let's talk about this area that is just within the City Limits. It lies next to the foothills of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, and it's still within the Santa Fe's historic east side. Here, you're going to find historic adobe gems as well as equestrian properties. Despite their remoteness, homes in the foothills of the Wilderness Gate area Overlook and Cañada de los Olmos are just 15 to 20 minutes from the plaza. These are charming, heavily forested communities They run alongside the old Santa Fe trails it heads north. Lower elevations offer rolling pinon and juniper covered hills, while the higher elevations are nestled in the mountainous terrain. The Sandia Mountains of Albuquerque and the famous Santa Fe sunsets can be seen from nearly every one of these homes. There are a wide variety of homes available, with most starting at about 2.5 acres, and they go all the way up to 10 acre lots. You're gonna find plenty of space and privacy. Enjoy a delicious meal at Harry's Roadhouse or the Bourbon Grill before taking an easy drive to the International Folk Art Market on Museum Hill. So there was a total of 27 sales with a medium sales price in this area at about $890,000 or $334 a square foot. Sales range from about 2.3 million all the way down to about 285,000. All right, we're on the home stretch. Let's talk about Area 27, which is south of Interstate 25. This area is characterized by developments that are mostly newer construction, easily accessible off of Rodeo Road and Richards Avenue. Now, some notable developments here include Oshara Village, La Pradera, and the College Heights. The Santa Fe Community College is nearby, which provides high quality educational programs. The college serves more than 13,000 students per year in its credit, non-credit, and adult programs. They have something for just about everybody. The Pantry Dos, one of Santa Fe's 
favorite breakfast spots, by the way, is located in Oshara Village, and this area also has easy access to the Henaveva Chavez Community Center. If you wanna go swimming, ice skating, to work out, to play racquetball, or just to shoot some hoops. The median sales price for homes here is about 665,000, or 319 a square foot. There are a total of 47 sales with prices ranging between 925,000 all the way down to 299,000. So let's talk about Area 27 RV, which stands for Rancho Viejo. This area is so popular, it got its own search in our MLS. With pinon and juniper trees and 11,000 acres of rolling terrain, it was thoughtfully planned to preserve open space while also creating a sense of community. It's a unique collection of villages that are separated by natural open space and parks. Walking, biking, and jogging paths weave throughout the open spaces, rolling grasslands and hillside ridges. There's also a central plaza in the center of each Rancho Viejo village in the traditional northern New Mexico style. Because of the higher quality homes and the unique lifestyle it provides, Rancho Viejo is pretty highly sought after. It's only about 15 to 20 minutes to the plaza from out here. Home sites tend to be a bit smaller, but estate lots are about half an acre up to an acre. They can also be found in the higher dollar range. So there were 68 sales here in the past year. The medium sales price for homes in Rancho Viejo is about 500,000, with sales reaching close to a million dollars and all the way down to about 300,000 at the average price per square foot of $296 a square foot. All right, well, we just covered at a high level all the areas in the Santa Fe area and all the immediate surroundings. Uh, this is just the start for you and your research of deciding where it is that you wanna live when you decide to move here. We're gonna be doing deep dives into each area as time goes on, covering individual communities and neighborhoods and talking about all the pros and cons of each. And we hope this has been helpful in getting you started with the understanding of Santa Fe. And of course, we're always available to help you one-on-one -on -one if you need to have questions answered sooner. Just make sure that you reach out to us. So thank you all for watching. And again, if you are planning on moving to Santa Fe or anywhere in New Mexico for that matter, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text or an email, or just leave us a comment down below. However you want to get a hold of us, we're here to serve you in your move to the Santa Fe area. Let us be your guide.